So I quit my job as an engineer a few years ago because one, corporate was killing me, but I genuinely believed in my soul that chasing my passion for entrepreneurship and business would be the key to my happiness and success. And <laughs> I have a lot to say because, wow, it has been such a roller coaster ride. And I feel like there's so much about life, business, and money that people don't talk about. So no, I don't have it all figured it out. Yes, I'm still struggling. But I want to share what I've learned so far in my journey because I think a lot of us, you know, there's huge unemployment in this country. People are struggling to get jobs. And, you know, sometimes it seems like maybe entrepreneurship is the way to go. And, okay, I don't want to edit this video. I don't have time. I didn't even do my makeup. I was like, look, if I don't just get on camera, say what I have to say, I will never do it because you're afraid that people are going to judge you or whatever. So, judge me if you want to <laughs> i really don't care i'm making this video for the past version of me and for anyone who is maybe where i was a couple of years ago where i just was you know i'd worked multiple jobs in multiple different com companies and each time i just hated it i just felt like i was suffocating and i absolutely cannot be in corporate this is not for me despite having worked so hard to get my mechanical engineering degree it's one of my proudest achievements and i'm really really glad i did so even though I'm, i don't work as an engineer today currently but i'm very glad that i went ahead and got that qualification so a lot of people in business as well will tell you college is a scam but i think if you get the right qualification that will teach you skills it's never a waste. Education is honestly never a waste. But not if you're going to get some random certificate from some random college that might not have any capital for you, you know. But anyway, that, that's a story for another day. Honestly, quitting corporate and what ha that has been like. This is not about that. This is more about chasing your passion, chasing your dreams and why sometimes that can be really, really bad advice. Right. So. I think people mean well. I think we see people like Beyonce and Oprah and all of these people who really chased their passion and became billionaires because of it. And we think that it is possible for all of us. I thought so. I thought if I do what I'm passionate about, I'm going to be successful. And I'm not successful yet, right? <sighs> this is difficult. This is honestly difficult because I don't feel like a failure. I don't think I don't think of myself that way, but I'm definitely not where I thought I would be at like 30 years of age. Like I really didn't think I would be here. I thought I would, you know, maybe struggle for a year or two and then my business would pop off and it just hasn't. It's just been the most difficult thing I've ever done in my entire life was trying to create this dream life. And I think there are a lot of misconceptions in society about work passion and purpose and we think all of that has to be under one umbrella the thing you do for money which is your job your work has to be the same as your passion that you love and enjoy has to be the same as your purpose your soul your god-given whatever you think of it i think it's wrong to think in my opinion in my experience i'm not telling you what to do with your life i'm telling you what i've experienced so for me I just think that I tried to make all of that be under one umbrella. I wanted to help people. I wanted to make money, enjoy it, have it be a passion. And I was chasing after this for, for so many years until I'm starting to realize that making money in business isn't about doing what you love or doing what you're good at. It's doing things, providing skills or solving problems that people are willing to pay for. So what happens if the thing that you're passionate about, no one is willing to pay for? Or maybe you're passionate about something, you love it, you love doing it, but it doesn't feel like your purpose. You know, like for me, I feel like I really want to help people. But what if the thing that can make you money and that you love doing doesn't actually help people? Like, I just feel like it's wrong to try to put for me, right? Bear in mind, this whole is about me and my experience. I think you should do whatever works best for you and whatever whatever works for you. But if you are like me, and maybe you might find this helpful. So what I'm saying is that my mission for this whole past couple of years was to try to put all those things under one umbrella. And I think that's a huge mistake because sometimes your passion doesn't have any money, right? That happens all the time. And you're and you and and if it's something that you love doing if it's something that you enjoy doing trying to monetize your skill and your creativity is such a big scam in terms of capitalism because this is the thing that you love like let's say me i love singing with all my heart i enjoy it so much but i can't sing i'm not that good at it right sometimes sometimes the things that you love doing you might not be the best in the world at it but that doesn't mean you shouldn't do it this thing that we have of trying to monetize our hobbies and monetize our passions i see that it's well-meaning like people feel like if you're really doing 
something you should make money from it. I think it comes from a good place, but it can kill your joy. It can kill your passion for, and you end up stop doing it. Like for me, I love making videos. I love getting on camera and talking to whoever cares to listen to me, right? And I appreciate all of it. But when you're striving to make money out of the thing that you love doing, it kills it. Like that's what also why I haven't been uploading for a long time, very inconsistently, because now there's this drive to like make money out of it and. That's not really why I started my channel. I started my channel to help people and to share everything that I've learned. And yeah, but anyway, so that's the one side of passion. And then the other side is that sometimes the thing you like doing, people aren't willing to pay you for that thing. Like if you are an entrepreneur, you're trying to make money or trying to get a job, you have to do things that society is willing to pay good money for. Otherwise, you're going to be a starving artist or you know you're going to learn a skill or get a qualification in a field that's dying or in a field that doesn't have a lot of money you know i feel like mechanical engineering is saturated in the sense that like there's more graduates now that have this qualification but the industry cannot support and pay all of those people and so there we have a problem you know and so i felt like i'm not gonna anyway I will probably make another video about this, a more structured, more proper, formal video. If you guys like this kind of content, I can definitely talk about this more. But I basically, for me, what I'm learning now is that the things that I enjoy doing, the things that I love doing, I don't have to monetize them. I don't have to share them on social media. I can just do them for fun, guys. Like, what happened to just having hobbies for the sake of having hobbies and not trying to monetize? Having a TikTok page because you just enjoy making content on TikTok, not because you're trying to become famous, you're trying to go viral, you're trying to make money. You just enjoy the act of creating it's an expression of yourself that you want to share with people painting singing dancing whatever it is for you right secondly if you're an entrepreneur and you're trying to make money chasing after your passion or doing what you like is very bad advice you have to do market research and understand what people are willing to pay for and the, the bigger the problem that you solve the more people that have money for that problem you're good to go so I'm done trying to make money out of my passion because one of the things that I'm passionate about are not a huge need in society. Therefore, people aren't going to pay me money for that. And at the end of the day, sometimes it's okay to have a job just for the sake of paying your bills and it supports the rest of your lifestyle. You don't have to love your job, right? You don't have to. But if you want to get paid a lot of money, you have to have a skill and an expertise that you get good at over a long time. You have to be excellent at it in order to make a lot of money. And sometimes just the act of getting good at something, you might not love it. It might not be your dream job. But when you become good at something, you get confident. You, you know, you know, I don't know any of you who are in corporate and you have a job where you're actually really good at it. You might not love it, but you know that if they give you that spreadsheet, you know, you're going to do the things and you're going to make the pots happen. And I feel like we don't also talk about of like, you don't have to love it, but if you're good at something, if you take, and it takes time, it takes years and years and years to become good at something, then you can tolerate it. And if it pays you good money, then it can pay your bills and sustain your lifestyle. And you can, it can allow you to give back to your family, friends, charity, whatever. It can support the rest of your lifestyle. Because remember, we are multidimensional human beings. I've never in my life met someone who's just interested in one thing. We have family, we have friends, we have hobbies, we have spirituality. We are so many different aspects of ourselves, mothers, fathers, sisters, brothers, you know. And when you make your entire happiness and existence around making money and entrepreneurship, which is what I did, you'll become very miserable. And and so I don't want to make this video too long, but what I'm trying to say is work what you do to make money, your nine to five, whatever, even if you're an entrepreneur, your work, your passion and your purpose do not have to be the same thing. You can fulfill your purpose. Maybe you go to church and you're a cell leader or something and that fulfills you spiritually. And that's on one side. Your passion is you love art and you go to art galleries and museums. You don't make money doing that, but you do that. And then you have your job, which pays you money to afford your lifestyle. And that's it, right? And so I think I wish I had known this much earlier. Like I wish I had learned this when I was like 21, that all of these things don't have to be under the same umbrella. I would have saved myself years of heartache and headache and depression just trying to make all of these things be one thing. It's okay to have a job that pays your bills. <laughs> like, let's just talk about that. If you have a job and you have an income, you are very blessed because so many people don't. If you don't have a job and you're confused and you're trying to figure out who you are, maybe stop trying to think of like, what's my passion and doing what you're passionate about. Just think what's a in-demand, high-value skill that people will pay me for. And once I have that money, then I'll be okay. I read a tweet. I don't fully agree with it, but he, the tweet was, you're not depressed, you're just broke. You know what I mean? And I know depression is real. I know mental health is real. I'm not 
disqualifying that, but I'm saying how much of your struggles and pain is because you just don't have money. And maybe if you had more money, you'd feel better. And so, I don't know, money solves money problems. So if you're having money problems, get money in any shape or form, work as a cashier, sell vegetables, I don't care, just get money. You don't have to love the thing. But once you have that money, I think you can think more clearly. And then your passion can be whatever and your purpose can be whatever. So if you like this, I can definitely talk more about this, but I'm still figuring it out. I haven't figured it all out. But what I know for a fact is that trying to make all of those three be from one source, like my business must fulfill all these three categories, that has left me miserable and broke. And I'm not doing that anymore. So that's just my experience. Let me know, how are you feeling? Are you working at, if you are one of those people whose job is your passion, is your purpose, I think that very few of us in society are like that. And if that is you, you are extremely blessed and I'm very happy for you. I'm not saying it's impossible. Beyond is living her passion purpose and makes a lot of money from it right i'm not saying it's not possible but i'm saying i don't think it has to be that way for all of us that's all i'm saying so yeah i'd love to know in the comments how you guys feel about this i mean what's your experience with work passion money how's it going thank you so much for watching that's all from me my name's Kay. i make realistic videos you know i have other videos about feeling stuck in life about the truth about um entrepreneurship i talked a little bit more about that so you can watch those videos if you enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching i truly appreciate it and i'm looking forward to talking to you in the comment section